What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? So if you did not notice already, the portrayal of men in mainstream media is shameful. That shit is embarrassing to say the least. You dig what I'm saying? That shit is deplorable. It's terrible for the man. All right. And I'm gonna get right into it. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. I am Tarek. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and I humbly appreciate you. <clears throat> Clear my throat. So the way that men are portrayed in the mainstream media, whether it be TV, movies, all that good stuff, Netflix, all that other good stuff, this shit is embarrassing. You dig what I'm saying? It is, it's really not manly whatsoever. How are men portrayed in modern day media? Well, they're portrayed as idiots. They're portrayed as these stupid man childs that need their woman to guide them through life or they're just lost and empty. You dig what I'm saying? This is the way that nowadays that men are portrayed and you see a shift from older movies until now, because let me tell y'all a weird quirk that I have, because everybody got their little, little weird quirk. I like to watch movies from the 40s and 50s. And let me tell y'all something. The way that men was portrayed back then, even, even throughout the, the 70s as well, and, and early 80s, okay? It, the way they was portrayed was way more different than nowadays, okay? And I know what somebody's thinking, Oh, man, it's just entertainment. It's just a movie. It is more than that. You are a fool to think that it is just a movie and it is just entertainment. It is called a television program for a reason. See, there's a saying. It's called art imitates life or life imitates art. Either one of those two, but they're really interchangeable if you kind of look at it, right? And basically what it is is... Pretty much what life is like a, a mere reflection of art. And what art is, is we got our music, we got our movies, Netflix, all that good shit. So either which way, it's it's going to reflect, okay? And I personally believe, I really believe that TV programs, like I said, are very influential on the way that men are viewed. Because people see these TV programs and they think that this is how things are supposed to be. It's programmed into them. They see shows like King of Queens, right? Very, I don't know if, uh, if some of y'all know this TV show. Super funny show. I'm not going to lie to you. It's hilarious. But the way the man is portrayed, Doug Heffernan, okay? He's portrayed, he's, that's, the, that's the character's name. Um, his real name is Jason something, okay? But in a TV show... He's portrayed as this big idiot, right? Of course he's out of shape. I don't even need to say that. He's this idiot that's always fucking up and his wife is always on his back talking about some Doug again, you know, kind of like what your mama does, right? Kind of like what somebody mama does. And that's how the modern day male is portrayed. He's portrayed as this bumbling idiot that just doesn't know what, what to do. And like the show King of Queens, he always needs his woman's direction. He always needs her uh, guidance. Now, there's nothing. Look, look, if you are in a healthy relationship, of course, you're going to get some tips and, and guidance from, from your wife or partner. OK, but the way that these uh, video that these uh, films and series and TV shows portray men is that the men are completely just lost in the sauce. Right. On some Gucci man shit, right? Lost in the sauce. You feel me? Don't know what to do. Don't know what the hell is going on. And their wife is like the savior to come save the day. And it's not, it was, if you look at older TV shows, it was never like that. If you look at uh, older movies, it was never like that. You feel what I'm saying? The man wasn't portrayed as a fucking imbecile, as a moron. But nowadays, like I said, King of Queens, another show, Everybody Loves Raymond. Same premise with that. The dude is a fucking idiot. Like, he doesn't know what the hell going on. Every time he does something, it's a big mess up, and his wife has to end up cleaning it up. Like, it does not show the man, the man in a positive uh, leading role. It shows him as this subordinate, subservient type of, type of man-child 
that needs his woman to always come in and clean up his mess. Like they always, they always show the, the man with the children, like they all made a mess and they all like, oh God, mom's going to come in. And you know, they put, they group the dad up in there. Like he's part of the children as well. Have you guys ever noticed that? I'm telling y'all this, these are all uh, trends. These are all memes that we have seen throughout the course of history, you feel me? And you guys be seeing it in movies too. The dude is usually some type of fucking idiot that's chasing after a chick and the chick is the savvy one. She's always the one that's that's really guiding things and, and leading things, okay? He's just the idiot that stumbles over his words, doesn't know what to say. And can, can, I, can I take you out on a date? Like it always shows the dude as this weak moron, you feel me? And yes, this is programming. A lot of people fail to realize that this is not just a T. Yes, it's entertainment. It is entertainment. It is funny. These shows are hilarious. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you, well, everybody loves Raymond. It's kind of boring, right? But King of Queens is hilarious. I'm not going to tell you that these shows are not funny. But at the same time, you need to be cognizant that these show that they are trying to make this into a reality. This is the type. See, you see it on, on TV shows first, right? Then you start seeing things in real life that reflect it, okay? You start seeing... Uh, chicks just being outright disrespectful towards men, you know, believing. And let me tell y'all something. On everything I love, a lot, a, a lot of these chicks be thinking, be watching these type of shows, be watching this type of stuff. And then in their head, they're like, yeah, men are idiots. They actually, they believe what they see on TV. And what makes it worse is a lot of men actually support the stereotype that they see on TV because they're watching the same shit. They're watching the same shit and they see the dude being a bumbling idiot and they think like it's some kind of cute, attractive thing, right? That the chick is going to be somewhat attracted to that and they're not going to be uh, strong in their decision making and their leading. Just like Family Guy. I know this is, y'all are like, okay, you're going too far. This is a cartoon. It is programming. I'm telling you, it is a TV program. People be watching this shit and it turns into a reality. Notice that the premise is real. Even though it's just a cartoon, guess what? It's actually an adult cartoon. So really, it's the same thing as these sitcoms like King of Queens, Everybody Loves Run. You know what I'm saying? All these little sitcoms and even the new shit on Netflix, right? What's Peter Griffin? A drunken idiot. You feel me? He's he's dumb as hell. Lois is always the one that comes and saves the day. She's always the level-headed, sensible one. It's never Peter, which is actually supposed to be the backbone of the... He's supposed to be the leader of the household. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to lead the house. He's not supposed to be the one that's drunk and... Same thing with The Simpsons. Simpsons. Homer said, hilarious TV show that I've, I've been, I was watching since a kid. But look at how it portrays men as idiots. Homer Simpson is a fucking idiot. So is Bart Simpson. Who are the two smart ones in there? Hell, even Maggie Sim Simpson, the little baby, is smarter than those two idiots. You feel me? And I know someone's like, okay, he going too far. These are cartoons. Once again, you believe whatever the hell. When you look at real life and see that this is playing out in real life, you'll kind of be like, damn, he does kind of got a point. You feel me? Now, let me tell you how TV shows were back in the G, in the 50s, the, 40, the 60s, 70s, all that. You saw dudes like Robert Mitchum. You guys probably don't know who in the hell that is, right? But he was an old 50s. You know, he was super, he was like the Brad Pitt of the 50s. You feel me? Just think of it like that. He Every role he played, he was like a strong man. Like he didn't take no BS. He was always charming the panties off the ladies, right? He was always, uh, he always played like a private detective, private investigator, and he would be solving crimes. Of course, on the way, he would make, meet a, a pretty broad, right? He would meet a pretty chick and a pretty chick would be on his meat. You feel me? She would be the one kind of looking at him for guidance and he would just be playing around with her, flirting with her, just keeping it cool. He went on no stupid dumb moron type of stuff like mainstream media portrays men nowadays okay he was just kind of laid back cool this is how uh mainstream media portrayed men a long time ago as like a strong dude 
You feel me? He was strong. He wasn't chasing. Matter of fact, the chicks were coming to him. He was doing his job as a private eye, right? And he always ended up uh, getting the hottest chick at the end of the movie, right? Because she could, just couldn't resist his damn charm. He was charming as hell. That's that's how they portrayed him. They portrayed him like... A, and every time in the movies, in the movie, like when a chick tried to do pull off some, some dumb stuff, like try to double cross him or something, he would check him, right? Nowadays, if you put that in these new movies, it's going to be like, oh, it's... Mas mas you know, they're going to call it all type of names and stuff, right? But back in the day, fellas, if you watch movies from the 50s, back in the day... <laughs> those men would check check those ladies on screen. Of course, it was a movie, right? It was a movie. But like I said, movies imitate real life or they program, right? So the men back in the day were shown to be strong, solid. Al Pacino, let's take The Godfather, for example. That movie came out in 72. His character was, that was like the perfect masculine character you feel now not everybody's gonna act like that right not everybody's gonna be this stone cold you feel me alpha shit like that okay but you get the point he was real stoic he was cool he was calm he wasn't no idiot that's for damn show right he had ambition he got a, a fine wife and his wife looked up to him not the other way around i don't care what like i don't care what society says bro if if a chick that's 140 pounds, okay, is ruling a dude all 200 pounds of, of his tall, goofy, stupid ass running him and he's the one that's protecting and, you know what I'm saying, bringing the bread home and she looking at him, you know what I'm saying, he's the one that's expected to be protected. If a chick doing, doing all that, that's something wrong with that, okay? Of course, women should be treated with respect. That's off rip. But a dude should be treated with respect too. That's the thing about it. These TV shows are portrayed and the guy getting gets no respect by either his wife or children and the chick gets all the respect. You feel me? And he's just a bumbling fucking moronic fool that's just stumbling through the whole episode try, trying to figure stuff out and his wife figures it out in like one second. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Godfather, you had Al Pacino playing Michael Corleone. He was, his wife, she she was looking up to him. He was the, the strong guy. He went on no stupid shit, right? And never showed him one time in the movie being like the stupid idiot trying to figure his way out through the world and stuff because he would have got killed, right? <laughs> he would have got, the, the movie would have ended real quick because he would have got killed. He had no time to be, playing a stupid, bumbly, mushy-gushy idiot, right? And that's another thing that these uh, TV shows and movies be portraying is dudes being on this mushy-gushy... You feel, Dudes act more feminine than the female. Put it like that, right? And then they be putting this progressive dad, right? They be dressing men up in drag on TV screens. You know, they try to do it to Dave Chappelle. Dave was like, hell no, nah, I ain't doing it. You know, so they for real, real life be trying to do this stuff, right? So anyway, that was my little video, man. I hope it helped. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.